what is 5G? That, that's the question that many people have uh, today because they hear it in the news, but what exactly is it? The promise of 5G is that it will deliver speeds up to 200 times faster than 4G networks. It will have one-tenth the latency. Latency is the network response time than current 4G networks. And latency is something that's important for like remote surgery applications where you really cannot have a delay in the network because lives are at stake. But what is revolutionary of 5G is really that it's the first wireless network generation that's envisioned with the Internet of Things in mind. For the moment, it's evolutionary in the sense that it's being deployed still with core 4G networks. But when we will start to see it for massive and dispersed machine-to-machine -machine communications and for critical IoT communications, that will be the, the true transformational revolutionary nature of 5G. Standalone 5G has not been deployed yet. There's a non-standalone 5G. And one of the leading examples in the OECD is Korea. What is amazing about what's going on in Korea is the nature of the traffic is already very different than what is happening with, or what happened with 4G networks. 20% of the reported traffic by operators is, is VR, virtual reality and augmented reality applications. Korea is not the only OECD country. Many, many countries in Europe, one of them is that's quite impressive is Switzerland, which now already has, one of the operators has 90% coverage of the population with 5G networks. We're looking for affordable, high quality, broadband connectivity for all. But all of that, the devil's in the details. How do we get this out there and how do we ensure an inclusive digital transformation? Because as, as somebody said once, uh, the future is already here, but it's not evenly distributed. How do you write a report? You start reading what's out there, what's the news. You do a bit of literature review, but also especially when it's topics that are technology oriented, you have to know what's the cutting edge. But the most important part of, of a report is the skeleton. You have to have an idea of where you're gonna go. And also to have the flexibility of, of uh, like in the creative process to reinvent. <laughs> A typical thing that I might do if I really have to get things done is I put my smartphone in the drawer. I mean, we work on connectivity, but we also have to find ways of, of having a lapse of time where you're not distracted. Economists in general, we're storytellers. It, we really are trying to, to say these are the underlying uh, factors that lead to an explanation of a reality.